Okay guys, thanks for bearing with me. I want to show you one more Math Ninja trick for percents. Um, I could call this Math Ninja or I could just call this Math Makes Sense. I only honestly say that to my class all the time. I'm like, guys, math makes sense. If it doesn't make sense either, I haven't explained it well enough or uh, probably that's it. Yeah, I haven't explained it well enough because all the time um, you need to be checking the answers you get in math against your common sense. So I want to show you this common problem that comes up on the tape, which is the test of adult basic education. That's that test that you have to take if you enter into any um, of the free GED classes in the um, state of Arizona for sure, and other states use the tape as well. So um, there's this problem that comes up on there all the time, and my students lose their minds. They have no idea what to do looks really hard they freeze up they don't want to do this on scratch paper and every time they do and they just skip it or leave it blank it kind of makes me a little sad because this is actually a very very simple problem and there's one thing that makes it simple it's not a simple percent 2.3 percent is not one of our tricks it's not easy there's no easy way to break 100 percent into 2.3s um, and so it's not that it's a mental math thing. It's not even about that. What it's about is this. It's 2.3% of 100. Mm, guys, what does percent mean? Does anybody remember what percent means? Literally, percent per cent. Well, per means divided by or out of out of just like a fraction bar it can mean out of i said that in the last video and cent like a century or cents in a dollar or a centurion these are common english words uh, all mean a hundred so if i say percent it means out of a hundred so what i'm saying by 2.3 percent is i'm saying 2.3 out of every hundred and look what this this problem asked me to do. It asked me to take 2.3% of 100. For every 100, I need 2.3. Okay, well, I only have 100, so I must have 2.3. And it is really, honestly, that simple. I'll do two more just so you can see it, but um, I'm not going to harp on this because I think you get it. So, like, even if they had a funky thing like 0.73% of 100... As long as it was out of 100 like it is here, of 100, that number's not going to change. It's just going to be 0 0.73. Or it could be 237% of 100. Again, since it's out of 100, it would just be 237. And um, I could just drop that percent with no consequence. Again, the only reason why I can do that is because they're out of 100. If it was out of any other number, I'd have to do the nasty math.